Molag Bal is arguably the single most feared figure in the world of Tamriel. A Daedric prince dedicated to the domination and enslavement of mortals, he served as a chilling antagonist in multiple Elder Scrolls games. You've probably faced off against him or done his bidding at one point or another, but you may not know about the history that inspired the character. Many think that the name Molag Bal is a reference to two separate ancient gods, Moloch and Baal a pair of deities worshipped by the Canaanites and a few other North African cultures. Moloch was a deity that inspired fear, and his worshippers were even known to sacrifice humans in his name. Likewise, in the Elder Scrolls universe, pure-blooded female vampires are sacrificed to Molag Bell in the hopes that they will become daughters of Cold Harbor. The visual inspiration Bethesda might have taken from Moloch is readily seen in the Daedric Prince's horns and gorgeous mouth. The other ancient god, Baal, is one of the most well-known gods found in the Bible and the Quran. In fact, God's name Baal are found throughout gaming, because the word itself means Lord or Master in Hebrew. The next Daedric Prince we're going to talk about wasn't directly inspired by religion at all. Ladies and gentlemen, it should be painfully obvious by now that the horror author H.P. Lovecraft has a strong influence on gaming as a whole. From the beginning, it was common knowledge that the Daedric Prince of Knowledge was clearly designed with the Lovecraftian gods in mind. Let's dig a little deeper though and ask ourselves which Lovecraftian god he resembles most. In Daggerfall and Oblivion, Hermaeus Mora was sporting an amorphous blob-type look, with tentacles at his base and crab-like appendages for his arms. This look most closely fits the portrayal of the deity Nialothotep, and it's likely that's where Bethesda drew their inspiration. However, in Skyrim's Dragonborn DLC, Hermaeus Mora leaves his old look behind. Now he appears uncannily similar to Sayeka, an ancient god that first appeared in Darkness My Name Is, a 1976 short story set in the Lovecraft mythology. And that's not all. Hermaeus Mora's Book of Ancient Knowledge, the Argument Infinium, is a reference to Lovecraft's Necronomicon, but you probably already knew that. Both books contain forbidden knowledge and appear to be bound by flesh. The idea that obtaining forbidden knowledge will drive men mad is a concept used many times by H.P. Lovecraft. Mortals who visit the Daedric Realm of Apocrypha are quickly driven mad as their minds are devoured by the arcane secrets contained within. It's hard to find a video game series with more writing to dig into than The Elder Scrolls. Countless hours can be spent browsing the many bookshelves of Tamriel, taking in everything from political treaties to trashy Argonian romance. So it comes as no surprise that with so many pages to fill, the development team at Bethesda has often looked to real-world literature for inspiration. Perhaps the most intriguing literary reference in Morrowind is found in The Sea of Ghosts, where you may come across a bottle containing a strange, mysterious note that reads like a tragic short story. This is thought to be a reference to the 1833 Edgar Allan Poe tale, MS, found in a bottle. In the story, a man writes an equally tragic story about his life and puts the note into a glass bottle, before casting it into the sea and succumbing to his fate aboard a sinking ship. Little did Edgar Allan Poe know that his narrator's bottle may have just ended up floating in the waters of Tamriel. The Black Hand, who you will probably know as the governing council of the Dark Brotherhood, isn't the only group of assassins to be known by that name. In fact, in early 1911, a secret military group in the Serbian army called the Unification of Death was founded and quickly became known as the Black Hand. The group was rightfully feared by even the most powerful governments over their short time active and is most well known for its role in the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, who a member of the group murdered in 1914, igniting the spark that eventually led to the First World War. Similarly, the Dark Brotherhood has a habit of killing high profile rulers. The real-world Black Hand didn't end up lasting nearly as long as the Dark Brotherhood though. The Serbian Prime Minister at the time, Nikola Pasic, decided to turn against them, leading to most of the Black Hand leadership meeting their end in front of a firing squad in 1917. Mirroring this, the Black Hand turns against some of its own members in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, leading them to near extinction. Rest in peace, Lucien Lachance. We'll miss you. I thought you knew the Elder Scrolls, but hopefully you've learned just a thing or two more. Do you know of any other historical or literary references we didn't cover here? Share them in the comment section below and we might include it in a future episode. If you like hidden history, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. If you're a fan of Skyrim and want to learn more about modding, or discover some new mods to try out, you can click the annotation on screen now to be sent to my channel, which has over 700 video reviews covering the best mods available. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.